Sabat Salawam Sabata. Halea Hawa, Halea Hawa. Peace and plenty to each and every one of you across the plain. Today, uh, what we're going to do is continue to surf the wave uh, when it comes to the surf to press from John. And what we're going to do here is we're going to um, see exactly where this, uh, this wave takes us and uh, just sit back and, and, and check out this, this loop of things. Now, as it were, if you've been uh, rocking with us uh, uh, on TDR Live, Surf the Wave Challenge, and uh, really been digging on the information uh, that's been coming forward uh, over the last week or so. We've been getting into uh, Genghis Khan, and uh, what I like to do here is uh, present some information about Genghis Khan first and foremost, um, <clears throat> but maintain a dragonfly perspective as it as it were. Now, what we you, what you will notice um, in when you when you're talking about your priest king, there seems to be it, it, there was a coup, a coup d'état, okay. And uh, and after the coup d'état of, of of your priest king, uh, it was followed by a collapse of the quote unquote old world. Okay, and Anatoly Fedorenko uh, showed us, uh, you know, that there are shadows and duplicates in history. Um, we've been compartmentalized into the different aspects of understanding these uh, people, place, names, and events. And um, it creates a false dichotomy, a uh, false synapsis. Your perception is immediately skewed because what you think is not connected actually is one and the same or is connected. And Comparative studies validates a single story, as it were, uh, and supposes and exposes, excuse me, the, the slight variances in, in names, place names, locations, and titles. If you've been uh, watching Brother Hiram and be in his classroom, you know. What you perceive to be a name is actually a title, and, and in a lot of cases, oh, there's um, the best way I can put it. There's a difference between how, how can I say? All all names are titles, but not all titles are names. If that makes sense, okay. And. This is where you can really expose a lot of the hijack. Now, when you're looking back at your timelines and your histories, all these distortions kind of lead to more questions, more possibilities, uh, where one had no intention of looking, especially when uh, taking a dragonfly perspective. Now, you, you've probably been wondering, or if you're new, what does is, what is this talk about a dragonfly perspective? Without going too deep into it, a dragonfly perspective is simply, uh, uh, it's, it's not only total recall, okay, but an ability to hold multiple points of focus simultaneously, regardless of each point, who, what, when, where, how, you know, those are your, you know, your platonic solids. As well as why and if. And the question of why and if is your full chakra. Okay. Took me a second to figure out what the other two questions were. But it seems to be that the sixth question is, uh, is, is, is why. That's why it's tricky. And, and 
the seventh question is if, which is what? All possibilities. Now, everything follows this wave function, okay? The flower of life. Now, what we're going to get into, it's just remember the Presser John Hawaft, the Presser John Memorial, which dates 1145 to 1645. Uh, the, this, this investigation here that I'm going to present here is well within scope of the highest academia uh, time frame, as it were, of Presser John. And I want us to keep in mind that uh, uh, we, we've looked at a lot of Hawaii possibilities for Presser John, but what are the probabilities? Slightly different. So, I mean, we can we can we can review a, a list of of the names compiled thus far that 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 fits the, the mold for. Presser John, but when you when you dig a little deeper, there is a difference between the one that um, name versus title. But I think that what we, we, we a part of the inverted world is thought mind spell barrier. Is that it, it? It keeps us from looking where 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 we might otherwise should be looking because everything says says so. But what I'm going to do here, real quickly, is really dig on this Genghis Khan and surf the wave um, as we journey on our search for our priest king. Now, I'm going to read through this uh, quite briefly, and uh, we're going to get to it, and uh, there might be certain points I might want to just quote-unquote highlight, and uh, to, but I want to get on with the lesson. But Genghis Khan, or Genghis Khan, born to Mujin, okay, uh, Sursa, uh, 1162 uh, through August uh, 18th of, 20, of 1227, was the founder and the first great Khan of the Mongol Empire, which became the largest contentious uh, empire in history after his death. He came to power by uniting many of the nomadic tribes of Northeast Asia after, finding, after founding the empire and being proclaimed Genghis Khan. It was proclaimed Genghis Khan, okay? He, you know, it's a title, all right? He launched the Mongols' invasion to conquer most of Eurasia. Campaign initiated in his lifetime include those against the Kara Kitai Caucus and the Kwa Kawar Zamian Western Xi and Jin dynasties. Okay? Xi X I A and Jin dynasties. Okay? You want to pay attention to that. Okay? Now uh, these campaigns were often uh, accompanied by large-scale massacres of civil, uh, civilian populations, especially in the, the Khwarezmian and the Xi, uh, Western Xi-controlled lands. By the end of his life, uh, the Mongol Empire uh, occupied a substantial portion of Central, uh, Central Asia and China. Before Genghis Khan died, he assigned Ogedo, Ogedai, excuse me, Khan, his successor, later his grandson split his empire into uh, Khanites. Uh, Genghis Khan died in 1227 after defeating Western Xi'an. Uh, he was buried in an unmarked grave somewhere in Mongolia. Uh, his descendants extended the Mongol Empire across most of Eurasia by conquering or creating vassal states in all modern day China, Korea, the Caucasus, Central Asia, and substantial portions of Eastern Europe and Southwest Asia. Many of these invasions uh, repeated uh, the early large-scale slaughter of local populations. As a result, Genghis Khan and his empire have a fearsome reputation in local histories. Uh, beyond his military accomplishment, Genghis Khan also 
uh, advanced the Mongol Empire in other ways. He decreed the adoption of the Uyghur script as a Mongol Empire's writing system. Uh, he practiced metrocracy, uh, meri- I'm sorry, meritocracy, excuse me, and encouraged religious tolerance in the Mongol Empire. Uh, and unified the, the nomadic tribes in Northeast Asia. Present day Mongolians regard him as the founder, founding fa- the founding father of Mongolia. Although known for brutality of his campaigns, is considered by many to have been a genocidal ru- ruler. Genghis Khan also is credited with bringing the civil rule under one cohesive political environment. This communication, this brought communication and trade from Northeast Asia into Muslim South. West Asia and Christian Europe, thus expanding the horizon of all three cultural, thus expanding the horizons of all three cultural areas. His name, his name is pronounced Genghis Khan, or usually Genghis Khan. A Mongolian uh, Genghis Khan, and you can listen to it. Let's see this. Listen to this. Genghis Khan. Genghis Khan. Okay. There we go. Right, let's go back. All right. You guys can dig on and read it for yourself. Uh, real quick. Uh, Temujin uh, was related to, uh, on his father's side, to Kabul Khan. Uh, Amga, Ambag. Um, a guy and Hutula Khan, who headed the Kamang, Kamag Mongol Confederation and were descendants of the Bodo, Bodongkar Munkag, nine, uh, Sirsa 900, uh, when the Jerkin, Jer, Jerkin Jin Dynasty switched support. From the Mongols to the Tartars in 1161, they destroyed Kubla Khan. Taimujin father, uh, Yesugai, leader of the Borjin, the Borji Jin clan, and nephew of Amgal and Hutula Khan, emerged as head of the ruling Mongol clan. This position was contested by the rival. Taiichi clan, who descended directly from Amdagai. When the Tartars grew too powerful after 1161, the Jin switched their support from the Tartars to the Karyats. Okay. Uh, now, uh, let's see here. Bert, little, little is known about the birth of Taimujin's early life due to lack of contemporary written records. The few sources that give straight uh, they give insight into the spirit, often contradict. Okay, now Temujin's name was derived from Mong- the Mongol word Timur, meaning iron of iron, while Jin denotes agency. Thus, Temujin means blacksmith. Temujin was probably born in 1162, but they don't know when he was born. Okay, uh, in the Deluan Luan. Boldog near mountain near the mountain Burkhan Kaldun in the rivers Onan. Now that's kind of funny because vowels don't count. So is it the rivers Anon? Think about that. And uh, Carrion in modern day uh, northern Mongolia, close to the current capital of Yulan Baatar. The secret histories of the Mongols report that Temujin was born grasping a blood cot in his fist, a traditional sign that he was destined to become a great leader. He was the second son of his father, uh, Yes Sugi, uh, who was a Kiad chief, prominent in the Kamag Mongol Confederation and an ally of Togrul of the Carib tribe. So, real quick. Just so we can get a little background, especially if you're new to surfing the wave. Tagrul, Tagrul, also known as Wan Khan or Ong Kong, okay, uh, was a Khan of the Karyats. 
he was an anda, like an anda kind of, right? Blood, or what they call it, what the anda means here, uh, blood brother, okay? Of Mongol chief Yesago, and, this, and, this, and served as an important early patron and ally to Yusigi's son, Timuja, later known as Genghis Khan. Wang Khan was the name given to Ta Gruul by Jurkin Jin Dynasty of China. Okay, by the Jur by the Jurkin Jin Dynasty of China. Keep this in mind. Where we going? So we're going to surf this wave here, and, and not even go somewhere you probably don't expect. When Temujin attacked uh, Jamu Jamuka uh, for the title of Khan, Tagrul, fearing Temujin's growing power, plotted with uh, Jamuka Ka Jamuk. I'm sorry, Jamuka, to have Temujin assassinated. Tagrul was killed in 1203. By naming soldiers who failed to recognize him as a former, uh, as the former, was fleeing from the, from defeat by Genghis Khan. Now, this fleeing from defeat, we're going to get into some imagery. Hopefully, if I can bring it back and we have time. But this fleeing from defeat seems to be that this 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 Tagul crossed the San Banyan when. No one else can cross the San Banyan. But we've been digging on the book of Jasher. Well, when, when, when Moshe is around, he can not only separate the San Banyan, but he can separate it in 12 different ways. All right? Now, let's continue here real quick. Uh, let's see here. Uh, boom, 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 boom. Okay, Genghis married his uh, Genghis married his son uh, Tuli Tului to one of uh, Tagru's nieces, the Nestorian Christian Nestorian. Remember that. Remember they said Preston John is Nestorian Christian. Okay, the Nestorian Christian Sorga Sorgatani Bekhi. Okay, Tului and Becky, <laughs> keep it simple, uh, became uh, the parents of Monke Khan and Kublai Khan. During the 13th century, Tagru was one of the several Asian leaders who was identified with the leader with the legend of Prester John. Okay, all right, let's bring it back so we can wrap up this Genghis background real quick. Alrighty, now uh, let's see here. Temujin was the first son. Yeah, we just covered all of that. According to the secret history, Temujin was named after the Tartar chief Temujin Ung, Uge, or Uj, uh, whom his father had just captured. Now, uh, yes, Suke's clan was the Bori, the Borji Jin. Now, notice how they, you know, notice how I spell Borji Jin, okay? But this is part of the Jin Dynasty, right? Right? So let's just m notice that. Alright, now keep it moving. Oh, sorry, I had to adjust. Let's see here. Uh, Holin, and Holin was from Oak Nut, oh, wait a minute, Oak Nut sub lineage of the Khan Jarad tribe. Like other tribes, they were nomads. Temujin's noble noble background made it easier uh, for him to solicit help from and eventually consolidate other Mongol tribes. Okay, and uh, I want you to continue to dig on it. Uh, maybe we can circle back. Let me see here. Belly flop. All right, let's see right here. Early attempt at power. Temujin began his ascent of power by offering himself as an ally, according to other sources of vassal. His father's and a sworn blood, sworn brother or blood brother, Tagru, who was Khan of the Karyats, and better known by the Chinese title, Wan Kong, uh, which the Jurkin Jin Dynasty granted him in 1197. Okay? This relationship was first, first reinforced when Borte was captured by Merkins. Temujin turned to Tagru for support 
Tavro offered 20,000 of his Chariot Warriors and suggested that Temujin involved his childhood friend Jamuka, who had be himself become Khan of his own tribe, the Jadaran. Okay, and, and we and you dig on this, we get you know, right in smack dab in the middle of Raja Raja Chola. Okay, now why am I bringing this all up? Because I want to just have some background and. What I mean by that here is, is, let's go back to the top. Using my dragonfly perspective, I noticed something with this, uh, this Genghis Khan guy. Let me see if I can uh, give you a slight adjustment here. And what caught my attention was... When I saw this here, House Borgi Jin, and I said, where have I seen this name before? Why is this familiar? Well, after much thought, I remember that Borgi had something to do with Da Vinci, right? Orgy. Let's dig on it. So, let's go back. Now, I don't know if a lot of you guys know this, but this guy, Cesar Borgia. Okay? Now, let's dig on it. Uh, let's see here. Let's go to open. Open link a new tab. Cesar Borgia. Now, we know that Cesar or Kazar or Khan, and he's a Borgi, uh, or a Borgi Jin. Now, either this guy is Khan of the same clan, or because of the same time, parallel timelines in history, this is the same, this is the, 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 the same, the same cat. Okay? Check out. Go back. B O R J I. Jin is separate. B O R G I. The A is separate. Now, who is this guy? Cesar Borgia, right? Oh man, this is all in what's name, so let's go back. So, let's see here. Let's see here. Let's go back. Go to that one. Translate it. I want to translate. Borgia, born in 1475, right? Died on March the 12th of 1507. Son of close relative Cardinal Rodrigo Borgia, later Pope Alexander the Fourth, 
Cardinal, a later Italian politician, and Condottier. There is a version in which the father of Gillian Ramon Lanzo e de Borgia, uh, who is nephew of Rodrigo de Borgi, or the owner of the Borgia. Alright, use the con. Alright, name is Caesar for a reason. Um, let's see here. His mother, Venosa Catanae, Catane, uh, Cesar had uh, two brothers, Juan and Joffrey, sister Lucretia, and half, and half siblings from other father's relationships. Originally intended by his father for a spiritual career, thanks to his support, he was 16 years old, and in 1941, Bishop of Pamplona. Now, remember, um, when we were digging on, uh, 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 when we were digging on, uh, what's his name? Who was that? Anand Ben David. And David, the, no, 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 David Slosslin. And we had read that one book where he was talking about them. They were making these children bishops at a very young age. And he wanted to correct that. Um, let's see. He celebrated until his four, he he celebrated this until 19, uh, 1492. When Christopher Columbus set sail? 1492. Right? Alright. After taking Rodrigo Borgia to the Pope in 1492, Cesar re received the dignity of Archbishop of Valencia, which he, which he held until 1498. Which is what? Isn't that, the, isn't that the last year that Christopher Columbus set sail? If I remember correctly. Um, and then that's when you also get the, uh, who started that? I think, uh, is that when we get Bacon starts to travel? I believe it was. Or is it, uh, Cortez and I forget. In any case, um, on September 4th, uh, September 20th, 1493, he became Cardinal of the Deacon of the, of the uh, Cardinal. He became Cardinal, the Deacon of Saint Santa Maria Nova. In 1493, this apostolic administrator uh, of the Diocese of the Nantes. Okay. Very, very, very similar to these uh, n names in, 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 in a sense, right? But let's continue. In the years 1493, 1495, he was administrator, and administrator, apostolic diocese of Castres. Let's see here. Where was it? Let's see here. Okay. Pope Alexander. Pope Alexander associated hopes for establishing the power of the Borgio family with his son and close brother relatives, Juan. Juan, whom he had previously appointed the commander of the papal army. So he was a Templar, right? Right? Because the Templars were uh, hijacked by papal authority. Remember that? Okay. However, on the night of 14th of June, uh, four, or 15th of June, it looks like, uh, 1497, uh, Juan was murdered uh, in unexplained circumstances. The first accusation of murder fell on Caesar in the later... Uh, he, he, he's still in the con, right? Am I, am I the only one that's seeing this? Same story being played, right? Okay, now 1498, Giovanni Alberto Taylor Pig uh, to the Prince of Ferrara. Okay, I better assure the Prince that he had received this message from the most reliable source. On uh, August 17th, 1498, after a fiery speech in the front of the consistory, Pope Alexander uh, agreed to discard the Cardinal's hat uh, by Caesar. On the same day, the French ambassador, Louis de Villeneuve, Villeneuve uh, gave Caesar the decree of the French king, Louis the uh, Twelfth, okay, uh, conferring the title of Prince Val Valentinos. Uh, Caesar uh, took the position of deceased brother Juan and became a condottiere.
Okay. Uh, let's see here. So, why are we bringing this up? Well, it has a lot to do with his uh, relationship to uh, Leonardo. Okay. Now, why is that important? Well, you need to dig on the, the Da Vinci codes and stuff like that. They keep bringing up Leonardo. And which made me think, well, what if his name is encoded? What if Leonardo is not who we think he is? Because despite what you may think, this picture of this guy ain't this guy. Okay? This is what they tell you he looks like. But this isn't this guy that we're reading about. Okay? Just know that. Alrighty, please understand that. So let's dig on it. Now this is on the Wiktionary. Oh, okay, Leonardo. Because what I think here is is what caught my attention was. Let me go back real quick. When I started thinking about how his name is written, and I thought about Davin. Da Vinci David David is in the name Da Vinci and we're going to dig on it but let's start here Leonardo a male, give, a male given name the Italian and Spanish and Portuguese form of Leonard Leonardo Da Vinci Italian polymath Right, so let's gig on it. Now let's go back. Let's go back. Uh -huh. Nope. Jump back. Jump back. Now let's scroll down. Tie power my half. How did I get the other page? I'm gonna show y'all something. Oh, French Leonard. 16th century, ah, there it is, etymology, right, from Old French, Leonard, name of 6th century Frankish saint, so that's how we got to this, now check out, Leonard Noblanc, right, or Noble Black, right, <laughs> served away, so we were digging, so I started digging on this guy, Le Leonard of Noblanc, or the Moguez or Noblet, uh, also known as Leonard Lionheart, Lionard, Leonard, Leonardo, Leonard. He died and when? Remember, and check this out, is a Frankish saint. Okay, closely associated with the town and abbey, Saint Leonard de Blanc. Okay, in the limousine or region of France. And we're digging on, on, uh, uh, Croissant, right? Now, here it is. But this is very similar to, to when we were digging on Moses and looked up Moses the Black, right? Same story. But again, again, let's let's continue. According to the romance uh, that accrued by his, uh, to his name, recorded in the 11th century, V. Vita, Leonard was a Frankish noble in the court of Clovis I, founder of the Merovingian dynasty. He was converted to Christianity along with the king. See how that works? See, that, see the game that they're playing? Um, at Christmas 490, uh, 496. Now check this out. We were digging on how when they look at the timelines or these, these books, they put an I and then write the number. So you wouldn't have 496, you would have 1496, and that's how it gets translated. But if you notice, very similar time periods, right? To the to the to the to the Caesar, right? Now Saint uh, by Saint Remigius, Bishop of Reims, Leonard asked Clovis to grant him. Now check this out. Leonard asked Clovis to grant him personally the right to liberate prisoners, um, whom he found it worthy. Uh, of it at any time. 
Now, remember what we're talking about here. What are we talking about? Remember? We we dug on we dug on the nine worthies in the wiki. Oh man, they gonna play with me. Let's go to Wikipedia. I know how to find it. Nope. There we go. See, you know, I play the game. The nine worthies. Let's go back. The LeBlanc. Sorry about that. Now, Leonard asked for the grant him personally the right to liberate prisoners whom he found it a uh, fine worthy of it at any time. Leonard, uh, Leonard secures the release of a number of prisoners uh, from whom he became. Uh, become a bad patron saint. How do you become a bad patron saint? Then declining uh, the offer of bishopric, the pejorative of the Merovingian nobles, he entered the monastery uh, at Mincy near Orleans under the direction of Saint Mesmin and Saint Lai. <laughs> I'm sorry. Then, according to his legend, Leonard became a hermit. Then, Preston, we got the 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 story of Preston John becoming a hermit in the forest of the Limousine, uh, where he gathered a number of followers. Through his prayers, the Queen of the Franks was safely delivered a male child, and in recompense, Leonard was given royal lands at Neblanc, uh, some twenty-one kilometers or thirteen miles from Limoges. Limoges. It is likely that the toponym was derived from the Latin family name no Nobilius and the common Celtic. Now we're back to, over dealing with the pigs, aren't we? Element of Ack, all right? Simply denoting a place. There, uh, there he founded the Abbey of Noblock. Uh, a court around the village, around which a village grew, and named in his honor. Okay. According to legend, prisoners who invoked him from their cells saw their chains break before their eyes. Now you hear the same story. Isn't this the legend of Paul? You hear in the Acts where he was in the prison and he prayed unto Hawa and, 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 the, and the prison shook and everything fell, but he wouldn't leave the prison. Okay. Many of, uh, came after, let's see, many came to him afterwards bringing their heavy chains and irons irons to offer him homage can a considerable number remain with him and he often gave them part of his vast force to clear and make ready uh, the laborers of the field that they might have the means to live an honest life now, now dig on it and get into the uh you know all this other good stuff that comes with that right but we're only talking about leonardo Da Vinci, the, the, the Lion of David, and it, it, you can't make this stuff up, <laughs> I mean, it, it's going to bake your noodle, okay, but, uh, you know, commonly known as Leonardo da Vinci, simply Leonardo, Leonardo was an Italian Renaissance polymath. Uh, who, uh, whose area of interest included invention, painting, sculpting, architect, science, music, mathematics, engineering. Yeah, this, this dude's the Dragon Nine. Quite literally. Quite literally. 
Now, the virtual man, this is, this, this, this he's doing a recon, but, but I'll, I'll, we'll, we'll come back to another, another episode, maybe I'll do a, a part two to this, because I really want y'all to dig on this Leonardo da Vinci, right, the Lion, the Lion of David, is his name, it's a play, it's a total play on words, you know, um, Look up Vinci. Let me get this straight for us. If you look up Vinci, right? You get a Geoconda. Remember, everything sounds. So you get the Earth Snake. Well, what's the Earth Snake? Well, the Earth Snake, Invincible, right? That's what we get. Let's look them up. Geoconda. La Geoconda, the name... Uh, the name of the Da Vinci painting, also known as the Mona Lisa, from the Italian Gioconda, the feminine of Giocondo, the surname of her husband, Francisco de, del Giocondo. The name is from the late Latin, Jacundus, literally pleasant, pleasing. See, Jacund, hint the French name of the painting, La Jacunda. Well, let's keep digging on it. Now we're looking at Vinci. Remember that. Jacun, late 14th century. Pleasing, gracious, joyful. From Old French, Jacun, or directly from the Latin, Jacundus, source uh, of Spanish, Jacunde, Italian, Giacondo, variant influence of Jocus, or Jocus, meaning joke, and of Latin, Jacundus. Pleasant, agreeable, uh, originally helpful. Contraction of I can't pronounce this one, but it looks like Jocundus, Vicondus, from Uvare to please, benefit, help, give strength, support, which is from the Pi source, perhaps related to the root Uvenus, young person. See, young. Okay. I mean, this dude is all encoded. So let's look up Vincible, right? Vincible, 1440s, 1540s, from the Middle French Vincible, and directly from uh, the Latin Vincibilis, uh, that which can be gained, easily maintained, from Vincier, to overcome, conquer, from the nasalized form of the Pi root, weak. Okay, to fight, conquer. A vincible ignorance in theology is ignorance is an ignorance in one who pers- who possess possesses the means of overcoming it. Okay, let's look up weak. Oh snap! Oh hey, no. Reload it. Let's get reloaded. Weak, right? Proto indigenous root meaning clan, social unit above the household. Okay, it forms all or part of Antotian, Bellowick, Brunswick, diocese, ecology, economy, ecumenical, ecumenical, excuse me, medic, nasty, harsh. Parochial, vicinage, vicinity, Viking, villa, village, villain, okay, villanelle, ville, villain, Warwickshire, or Wick, as in John Wick, right? Now, uh, second now, dairy farm. It is the hypothetical source of ev- or evidence. For its existence is provided by the Sanskrit visha or visa, meaning house, vit, dwelling, house, settlement, avestan, vis, meaning house, village, clan, old Persian, vithum, house, royal house, Greek, ecos, house, Latin, villa, country house, farm, ficus, village, group of houses, 
Lithuanian Ves Ves Vespots, Master of the House, Old Church Slavonic Vesi Village, Gothic Ways Village. Okay. So let's dig on young. Old English, young, right? Youthful, young, recent, new, fresh, from proto traumatic. Juwonga, right? Ong, Wong, Wong, Wong Kong, right? Old sex, remember he dipped in the, in the waters, right? How many times? He lived for how many years to the age of 32? Source of Old Saxon and Old Frisian Jung. Old Norse, Unger. Mid, uh, Middle Dutch, Junk. Dutch, Jung. Old High German. And German is Jung. Gothic says Jugs. Proto Indigenous root meaning Yonko. Suffix form of root Yeu. Vital force, youthful, vigor. Source of Sanskrit, Yovan. Young, young man, Arvistian, you are, you, anim, yo, you nam, youthful, yosta, youngest, Latin, juvenus, young, junior, younger, more young, Lithuanian, Jonas, Old, Church Slavonic, Juna, Junu, Russian, Junish, young, Old Irish, Auk, Welsh, Ewanic, Young. Okay. Um, this, and then we get into Turk. But just to kind of quickly dismount, when you look up Vin, you get vinegar, right? Vinland.